She's also got erect toes that we might notice there as well. Okay. Yeah. That's a sort of sign of approval. Love Island is back. We are back for another year and we're back with Judy James again to discuss all this year's body language. And I don't know about you, but this first episode, I think I spent too much time with you, Judy, because I was watching it and I was like, oh, she's nervous, she's nervous. And I was watching she's it thinking... She's playing with her hair, she's like blinking too well, much. Well, we swapped jobs because I was thinking, who's she going to fall in love with this year? You. Uh, so I wondered who your crush was going to... I've gotten sus, but I'm not going to say it. Yet. But uh, I am not just buzzing. I think it's beyond buzzing this year. OK. Right, well, we're going to start no. with our first clip, which I think is going to be Anton and Amy. for a while. Um, so forever, never had. There's the hair boy. <laughs> and, sure. and the pit bear. You didn't notice the pit bear. You have to. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, so you'll have a catch yeah. feelings then. No, I do, but then they don't like me. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. So what is the pit bay? Pit bearing, bearing the armpit. Oh, okay. Uh, interestingly, incongruent body language because she was doing all the. Um, she dragged him over to the beds. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a very dominant fashion, and then started telling him, you know, oh, my heart's been broken, and I don't like this, that, and the other. I've never had a boyfriend. Um, I lack confidence, but this was incongruent because the bearing of the armpit is a gesture of confidence, and the hair preen gesture at the same time. And I don't know if you noticed, but he got his, I mean, he's a real boo magnet, that guy, isn't he? <laughs> he got his little uh, mug and stuck it on his nose at that point. Whether that's some mating call, I think he was actually feeling a little bit intimidated really? by her. And we all know how that ended, don't we? Yeah. Well, they were the first couple to partner up mm. as well. Um, she stepped forward for him straight away. Out of desperation, I think. What makes you say that? Well, you just grab the first cake in the shop and in case the rest turn out to be non-existent or something like that. <laughs> but uh, she was, when he walked up, her hands were in full begging mode. She was, she was scrunched up, which is a signal of um, you're, you're, you're making yourself smaller, Again, that is a kind of excitement, but also slight bit of desperation. Praying hands aren't good when you're on a, like, a first meet with somebody. Oh, it does look, yeah, you know, if you've got a first date, don't stand there like that or like that. <laughs> it just smacks of desperation. Okay, that's good to know. Well, like you said, he sort of very quickly by the end of the episode had set his sights elsewhere. So let's take a look at Anton and Lucy. It was between you, totally between you and them. Um... Amy anyway, mm. but you never stepped forward, you were just like straight up like no, so I'm not saying like step on Joe's toes, but like I'm just being like, if you would be interested. So what were your thoughts on this conversation? Because I, I had some thoughts watching it. <laughs> I love Lucy's face because it's a mixture of fear and almost disgust. She does a tongue poke, big tongue comes out, that's a signal of rejection. And in fact, it reflected what he did when nobody chose him at the start. Do you remember right, that yeah. moment? And they went to the ad break, didn't they? Where you got Mr. Kissing My Guns, Everybody Loves Me, uh, suddenly was being rejected by all the women. His wandering eye did a little twitch. I don't know if you noticed. And then he did a tongue poke. So he lost his confidence. He was trying to reboot here. Mm. But I don't think he was reading her body language particularly well. He obviously thought he was making a really good offer and should come running. I'm still slightly worried about her though, but you know, uh, maybe not with him now. What are you worried about with her? Uh, I, I hate myself for saying this, but I did like her with Joe together. I thought mm -hmm. they were really, oh, projectile <laughs> you vomit. You turned into me. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. swapped. Um, I must <laughs> slap, I, I must stop doing this. And I did want um, her to kind of choose him, which is awful this early on. Mm -hmm. any, any, any stage in my life, this is awful. <laughs> Um, particularly because what we know about Anton, you know, his egos are us. Yeah. Um, although I love the guys that are all egos are, are us, and then, well, I've never really had a proper girlfriend, I still with my mum. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. he um, clearly loves himself way too much. But tell me what you picked out. I, don't tell me I've missed something, I will <laughs> have to pull one I over thought you. he talked over her quite a lot, which I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but sort of seemed to me like maybe a nervous tick, like if you're talking a lot. Um, and but I thought the fact that if we can see her here, like her body wasn't facing him as well, it was just her head, so which yeah. I kind of thought was her rejecting him as well. He talks, I'm sure he talk, talks over all women a lot, so he can't hear them saying in his own <laughs> head, Go away, I don't like you. <laughs> so that would feed his self esteem that, Oh, I think she liked me. Mm. White noise in the ears, you know, I didn't hear the insults that were being held my way. Um, well, we'll go back to Lucy and. Joe, then. Have you ever tried surfing? I have never. No. I feel like I need to be tall. 
No. You can teach me. Yeah. What was that? Oh, you said I need to be tall. I thought that this was a really nice conversation and they both seemed really open to like, they just wanted to learn about each other straight away, which I was, yes. guess is a good sign. And how could we tell that? No, you're learning the craft. <laughs> We're not going to need you anymore, Judy Sue. <laughs> I'm going to change it all now. No, they hated one another. You were not reading the subliminals. No, uh, you're absolutely right. And uh, with a lot of them, there was a kind of when they weren't that happy, they were standing quite close but playing to the camera. But they did get quite a bit of eye contact going. And he was leaning back. Now, for a lot of people, that might look as though he's not keen. Mm. But in fact, he was in a good way sizing her up and getting to understand her and getting to know her a little bit more. I, I did kind of misjudge him a bit on first impressions. He looked a little bit immature I thought when he, when he first did his little video thing mm. but I liked his facial expressions and he was very aware of what was going on you know when Anton started moving in you could see um, he was already beginning to become quite keen she's also got erect toes that we might notice there as well okay yeah. That's a sort of sign of approval. Although okay. there's going to be guys like Anton now every day you know, looking under the table, <laughs> kicking their toes upwards. But yeah, that shows she was pretty engaged at that yeah. point. He had a conversation as well um, a bit later when Anton was talking to Lucy with Sharif. And I mm. don't know what if you can remember that conversation, but yes. he seemed quite open then. And it seems like he is a guy who is going to be quite open with his feelings. And yeah, he thinks. You can see him thinking. Yeah. And I'm not saying the others don't, but they don't. Um, <laughs> he, you, you can see him trying to work out the best way to play it. And I love the way that Sharif has obviously uh, decided that he's going to be uh, this year's love doctor. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a good move, actually. And uh, if I hear that phrase, already... It's, I'm screaming at the screen, it is, it is what, what it, it is. is. <laughs> it's not, it's not what it is. We're watching something else. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about Shreve really quickly, actually, because he was um, relegated to the subs bench mm. straight away as well. And watching it, I thought he looked like he was not happy. No. no. And no. I wondered what your thoughts were on that, especially about, um, was there anything surprising about that behaviour? I, I think he had to reboot quite quickly because, again, on his video, he was a bit like Mr. Mr. Love God. You know, mm. he was like um, pulling all these sort of, you know, winking at the camera, <laughs> and like 1980s sort of flirty stuff going on there. And I think he tried to sustain that when he got it in there. But I think that was a huge knock for him. And, mm. and that's where I think maybe some men say this instead of crying, that it, it is what it is. I think they say it rather than cry. I think every time we hear that from now onwards, that's them crying inside their own head. And I think that was his, uh, he'd swap that for tears. Uh, he, he had a few difficult moments. He had that Instagram moment as well, mm -hmm. didn't he? That was so awkward. He might be the person that we follow going, no, don't say that. Yeah. You know, sort of, yeah, I've been following you on Instagram. She moves <laughs> out the room. She did preen a bit. It was kind of the right thing to tell her because right. she's, I mean, she's in a permanent state of selfie, isn't she? I mean, she's like her in the camera. Um, well, I actually don't have any clips about Ivana, but let's talk about her really quickly because she didn't really step forward for any of the boys. She no. didn't seem interested in anyone that's in there at the moment. She was only looking at the camera. I mean, if the camera just said, you know, um, step forward, she would have done that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think she's in there for love? Uh, she's, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I, I think we're being treated to lots of views of her and her looking wonderful. Nobody's distracted her yet from the camera. She's in the business, so I don't think it's an insult, but I think new men arriving, fame by association, kitching, you know, sort of, I, I think that might be where she sees her status level as being rather than mm. people that follow her on Instagram. I think so she's you might got see her going for Tommy or Curtis then, because they both have name recognition, don't they? They absolutely yeah. do, don't they? <laughs> Apart from everything else. <laughs> yeah. <It's laughs> Some of the guys didn't just, like, lemmings throw themselves <laughs> into the pool. OK, so we've now got Yuande and Michael. I studied um, biotechnology as a degree. OK, so okay. I'm going to be <laughs> honest up front. <laughs> I love these two already. I want them to win. I think... She misjudged him you really badly, uh -huh. and I think I this conversation know. showed her opening up maybe to him. But yes. what were your thoughts on first No, watch? absolutely. I like her because her body language is as near as natural. Apart from the plants in there, she's the only one with sort of natural movement going on. <laughs> and, and I like that, being a body language expert. Mm. I like the way she just walked in. Um, she's obviously very intelligent, um, obviously quite picky as well when she was looking mm. at the guys. I mean, she wasn't budging, was she? I, don't, I didn't think that when they paired off that they were 
naturally a good fit. Although I again, I, what am I like? I like Michael mm. as well. I, I will happily be proved wrong and all of this stuff. But then when they sat together, she was quite cool, and they were just having one of those. You know, any minute now she's going to say, "Well, we might be friends by the end of this." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is sort of, um, but I. I then you're absolutely right, and the key word, and I don't even know what it is because I'm not a scientist, but macrobiology yeah. or whatever, <laughs> genomes or something, I don't know. And her head snapped round, yeah. and you know, I felt like yelling out, do not be a sucker for the attribution bias, the attribution effect, judging. Actually, it's not just a book by its cover. They were judging him through reading his tattoos. Mm -hmm. Clearly, he needs a tattoo saying, I'm really good at science as well and interested in macrobiology. And then he would have pulled her straight away. Yeah. But yes, you're absolutely right. He did play up to that kind of bit of a bad boy thing. But if they'd have looked a bit more closely, I think there was more about him. And I, you could literally see a, a meeting of minds at that point. I don't think they're going to last as a couple, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're always breaking my heart, No, they Judy. will. They'll win. They'll, <laughs> yeah, they'll have their own reality show. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think it says about her that she was kind of closed off to Michael until she learned about his education? Is that a positive or negative? You know, technically you could say that it means that she's shallow, but I don't agree with that because this show is all about attribution effects. It's all about first impressions. It's all about trying to read somebody very quickly. And they do have to try and read whether they... I think it's about trust, really. I think he did... In a way, and he promoted it slightly, he tried to come across as a bit of a player to a certain extent. And I think that was what she was very worried about, pairing off with somebody yeah. like that. In fact, somebody, and I, was it her that said, why didn't, and she always had tattoos, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and I think, I don't think that was wrong. I think she's learned now that it was a mistake, and that's been a good thing that she's been given the chance to find that out. Obviously, with all of them, we're going to be unlayering at least half a layer in some of the cases. <laughs> some of them won't be as they're appearing right now. Mm. Um, but in real life, it's a good lesson to learn not to do that. Um, on this show, I think you can't avoid it. Yeah. OK, I'm going to talk about Amber and Callum, but more specifically Amber. But I mean, personality wise, yeah, I do like a bit. So mm. she's one of the yeah. youngest. I think she's 21 and he's the okay. oldest in there. He's 28. Oh. And yeah. as soon as she found out that age, yeah. she... I mean, she didn't seem super into him anyway, but as soon as she found that out, she completely went off of him. But she's one of the contestants that so far, I think, most people are not warming to her. And is yeah. there something in her body language that's turning us off? I found a liking for Amber as the show went on, but I think at first glance, she another one that looks in a permanent state of selfie. Her face looks pre-lit, almost as though she's walking around with her own ring flash <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Maybe it's out of vision or something. She very much speaks her mind, and that could get her into all sorts of trouble. But in a way, again, I don't mind that because it's a bit different when they're all squealing and everything. Mm. She was sizing people up like there was no tomorrow. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, you know, when they said what job they did. Oh, you're a pharmacist. You know, And you could see it's all going in her mind. And she was coming out with some quite funny one-liners yeah. so I don't mind that but I could see why out of all of them she'd probably be the one that if you were working with her, you might feel a little bit intimidated that she might be a bit rude or laughing about you behind mm. your back or something like that but she why 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 did she pick Callum what was it in her head that went that's the guy for me oh um, yeah no idea <laughs> and uh, she, she you know she she obviously is going to pair off with a bad boy like big time yeah um and saying he was old at 28, I mean, boo, <laughs> big boo. That's what I mean. The insults from her will probably just flow out. Yeah. What did you think of Callum? I, he's probably at the moment. I mean, nice guy, slightly worrying reminders of Dr. Who Alex. Was it? I knew you'd yeah. say that for me. I, yeah. I knew who it was. I just want to say how quickly you can get the line I knew. out there. Uh, she's still here. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a fan club or are they? No, <laughs> there's no fan club, there. it's closed. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got that slight nice guy vibe going mm. on and quite honest and open and openly self-effacing, I think. But at the moment, looking at that behaviour and looking at the other women in there, I can't see a good match for him particularly. Yeah. Um, so at the end of the show, as with every Love Island episode, we had a twist. We had two new boys coming in, um, Curtis and Tommy. So let's take a look at... What were your thoughts on... <laughs> Sorry, I'm 
can't get a coffee going, so it's just those two. What were their thoughts on their arrival and their sort of confidence levels? Did you see any nerves with these two coming in, like late? <laughs> this was such a great entrance. Mm. Of, uh, it was probably the best one I've ever seen. We knew they were, you know, if you read yeah. the paper. Um, I loved the way that they picked two guys who physically could not get in the doorway together. Yeah. Did you notice? <laughs> I mean, the doorway was about, you know, 20 yards wide. <laughs> and they both had to come in slightly sideways. <laughs> and they're probably, I don't know, they look about eight feet tall, both of them. Mm. I think the guys will be fancying them, quite honestly. They're, they'll be heroic. Um, but you could see the guys who probably, even at that space of time, worked out a little bit of a pecking order as to who alpha who the best looking guy was etc all of that wilted on the vine when these two came in and, and and you could see um i think it was joe mainly kind of sucked his lip in because he so wants to keep with lucy yeah there was a moment as well where i think oh we might have already we might have to find an earlier clip of it but when they first walked in michael and sharif both looked to each other and yeah. made one of those like oh faces yeah and i you know i it will probably happen with the girls later on as well somebody yeah. will turn up that will not the rest of them out the water, but it was such a sublime choosing. And I have to say with those two guys, um, on a body language note, what have they both got in common? Fame. Names? Fame by association, but also they both love to mime their jobs. Have you noticed? I love that technique. Yeah. So Curtis is, I'm a dancer. Yeah. And that was the gesture you were doing just now, which is why I thought, why are you mirroring him? Um, and I'm a boxer. I mean, do you tell people, what do you do? I'm a writer? Yeah. No, most of us, you know, I film people. No, but obviously, I hope that goes away. Curtis is going to be really annoying if he's going to cha-cha his way through the entire series. Yeah. And when they were walking in, Tommy, like, fist bumped Curtis as well, and then they did that awkward, Boxers awkward, can't like, stop doing it. Yeah. You know, you feel like saying there's no fighting going, but they'll go into that position at the drop mm. of a hat. Um, Interesting couple, and I think um, I think they played that just right. They engaged me in the show at that point. So I hooked. I'm hooked. <laughs> You're hooked. Out of the from that arrival and the girls, are there any that you think are already looking ahead to recoupling with one of the two new boys? The girls. All of them. Oh, there will just be a <laughs> tidal wave. I mean, honestly, if, if you'd have put an electric fence up there, they would have been zapping themselves to get over it, I think. <laughs> I, who, who is well-bonded enough not to be drawn? Mm. And also, as I say, I'm sorry, you know, it was the same with Danny Dyer last year. They must know there's a, a, a much better chance of a career if you've got the fame by association. You know, you've got all the stuff about uh, will will you know will their relatives come in on relative day and mm. um, I'll get more camera time, etc. I'll get my own spin-off show, etc. So they they tick every box and more. I think those two. Yeah, Tommy in particular has I would maybe argue is slightly famous, more famous than Curtis. Um, was, Curtis? I know. <laughs> Famous in his own right. Come on. Was there anything in Tommy's body language that you thought, oh, he's going to play up to the fame by association? Uh, how long was it before he mentioned his brother? Let me <laughs> sing. I, I, I think it's half a second. Yeah. Uh, no, no, he's not going to mention it. So. No. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it intimidates me. I'm not going to be rude about the guy. Mm. You know, I mean, that, that he is a god as far as I'm concerned. But I, I, the nice thing is that he's obviously got a lot going for him anyway you know he's got a good personality he's mm. not just the little brother and he boxes in his own right but yeah you know I mean I, I think they both play up to a certain extent because it will be a big puller for the women yeah and um, thanks for watching guys our next video will be up on the 13th of June um, and so that's going to be in eight days time so there's gonna be a lot to catch up on um, but thank you so much Judy and we have to do a keep watching keep watching <laughs> <laughs>